have a very rare opportunity in gold and we're going to discuss that we'll also look at nifty in today's uh, video uh, let's begin uh, the reason I'm discussing gold against the British pound and nifty is because both of uh, the market seems uh, like away from reality uh, let me show you why what that mean and this is same this is the true if you look at gold in euro as well okay so this is a, a daily time frame chart and look how far um, we are almost close to the top right over here although the gold in US dollar is way lower and we already have seen a bearish move but we have not seen a bearish move in British pound and in euro against gold in fact in euro we have created a new high so what does that mean it means um that we have an amazing opportunity that's what I believe so at least uh, ahead of us on the bearish side of gold against British pound and gold against uh, euro as well so first of all I'm expecting that we have seen completely a wave one right over here a smaller wave one right over here I will not discuss this one right over here it does not fit in we might have created a new wave right over here since euro has created new wave right over here so I would say that British pound has also created a new way on top uh, let's have a look on a weekly time frame this is much better yeah so I'm expecting that we are still bearish from this move that one that we have seen right now I'm expecting that we are probably gonna see move somewhere out in this region so I'm expecting this whole price movement that actually started from is as W or we can call it as an A wave and this whole as wave B right over here and this whole as wave C uh, three three and a five wave structure so understand that I'm expecting the top was made right over here because we have seen a new top being made in euro so I think it's reasonable to consider although we have kind of double top exactly right over here so it's reasonable to understand that we have created a new top right over here in the British pound after I've discussed that definitely I'll look into uh, euro as well I'll try to bring that chart as well so let's have a look now right now uh, we can quickly label it uh, this is the start of the pattern this is wave A right over here and this is wave B right over here and we are expecting for the prices to drop in a shorter period of time that's an also an amazing uh, thing that uh, I'm expecting that we shall see a dramatic price movement I'm expecting it to be uh, of primary degree actually so let's have a look on a daily time frame too we can actually look at a smaller wave and we can actually label that wave as well so the daily time frame is interesting um, first of all we have clearly a st corrective structure corrective structure and I believe that the corrective structure would actually shell price push the prices somewhere around 1530 ish 1535 ish and then we are to expect prices downward a very important price behavior uh, let me quickly label this thing and we can actually then start looking for it with one right over here and this is wave two and you'll expect prices to go further down three four and five so this is not exactly three four five I'm expecting three four five to be much lower so this wave the next thing is that we have W right over here X right over here and a Y right over here you can call it an ABC in which we have a double three wave structure as a double three structure so we have actually this is uh, this one so we have starting point right over here we have a single zigzag we have another single zigzag as an X and then we have another single zigzag as Y why it's not just give me a moment it's just somehow we need to collect this one right over here so the start of the pattern and single zigzag and we have the second zigzag and we have third zigzag this is a bit rare uh, trading correction in compared to the other patterns that we have seen this is a double three way structure in which there is no alternation normally if one if W is a zigzag then X would be a flat correction or X would be a zigzag but Y would be a flat correction here it seems less likely that we are going to see uh, a flat correction now I believe that this trend line is also very very important we have seen almost one two three and four points on the trend line so we definitely need to see a break of this one but I wanted to bring this opportunity it looks to me that uh, this market is right now further away from 
um, the reality I do understand the that weakness that we have seen in British pound and from this chart we can also say that British pound is uh, expected to gain momentum against US dollar um, and that's at least the chart is indicating too because we are still expecting US dollar uh, sorry gold in against US dollar to be weaker that means that the only thing that's going to perform better as compared to US dollar is British pound so I'm not saying that we are going to see a U-turn but we'll start seeing forces acting in a different way so I spotted this one on and I wanted to bring this uh, to your attention let's have a look at XAU and Euro as well okay this is uh, the interesting chart right over here let me delete that so it can actually make sense I'm gonna go to the weekly time frame so you can actually see that we have actually created a new top right over here right while the, the in in uh, US dollar we created almost a lower wave very close to the previous one and then we have moved quite a bit certain in a uh, euro and in British pound we have not moved further down we have actually created a new wave so the structure that actually started from over here went all the way right over here so I'm still expecting the push uh, downward in the prices that means that euro in uh, uh, the next cycle that we are expecting that euro and British pound both are expected to gather strength against US dollar so this is pretty interesting to see that we are going to see that effect in gold as well right over here so let's have a look on a mm, let me quickly label that chart okay we can start from over here um, and then this is a W this is an X and then this is a Y is this going to be all the way down over here that does not necessarily be it could be a uh, as you guys can see that we are looking for a flat correction right over here so the price movement could be sharper and then we can actually see the prices lowering somewhere in this range in this case we are looking for an expanded flat this is uh, the initial one right now we the only thing that we have right now is a movement downward and we'll look at it and see how the prices are actually behaving in that regard okay so the Im immediate thing that I'm seeing right now is uh, this price movement that we have right over here we have a W and an X and a Y so I'm expecting that the single zigzag is complete right over here we have completed another single zigzag and we are expecting more weakness in euro against US dollar this is what the chart is indicating uh, that there is more weakness expected in euro against US dollar and that's why we are to see a p further push upward once th that we have seen that then I'm expecting that that should be the end of it and then we should f uh, see the prices going downward uh, if you want to label it once again uh, we this chart little looks more uh, completely a little better let's me first of all use uh, the channel to see where exactly the prices are going the parallel channel right over here so we have the start of the channel right over here and to this one and then we can extend it to this one right over here so this is what we are looking at right now we can increase the chart right now here so the the impulsive wave if you want you can definitely as you guys can see this is pretty tricky price movement on its own it must kind of we are clearly seeing uh, kind of if you look at the price action and this one price action it looks like this is an impulsive wave and this is the a corrective wave but given the uh, situation of the uh, uh, price of gold against US dollar we are already aware of it that gold is in strongly bearish market so I'm kind of going to push it a little forward as far as labeling is concerned it's not going to be looking very uh, interesting um, but for now we'll just leave it to right over here it's going to be messy we can simply call it start of the pattern and then wave one and wave two okay we can definitely discuss a little more it's a general indication of wave one two three four and five right now here so but right now my main focus is that we are looking for this to complete and then we want the prices to actually drop below this one uh, we have do not have seem to have completed uh, well we have the top right over here this one right over here so maybe we can actually see the prices to push right over here and complete that double top right over here initial thing interesting thing and I want to bring it to your focus uh, I'll see if we can actually discuss this uh, in our gold section when we discuss more let me add that into our watch list
so I'll try in fact in, in our coming few uh, future videos that we are going to discuss gold in general against US dollar silver platinum miners and then we'll discuss gold against the British pound and euro so it's quite an interesting um, addition to our analysis now nifty I wanted to bring uh, the whole reason I wanted to discuss uh, nifty is because nifty is showing um, a lot of strength and uh, I wanted to discuss that and see if it's going to get affected by the bearish uh, move in the world indices or not. So here is Nifty. In my previous analysis, I did give an indication that you're expecting for the price down right over here. Now a couple of things are right to possible right over here. So that's why uh, alternation, alt wave alternation is important to consider. The I'm considering these price movements to be uh, if this is complete right over here and that would be completing right over here in that case the uh, price behavior that we are seeing would not occur and this would not be a flat correction in that case okay, is simply prices went up we can call it at wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and then we can call it as an A, a B and a C structure completely and we can call it wave 1 and 2 right over here another wave 1 and 2 in case we are going to be bearish but for that to happen we definitely need to come out of this box because we need to make sure that this correction this is not a correction we need to understand that this is not a correction and we need a confirmation for that in that if that happens I will definitely turn bearish right now right now uh, we already gave an indication that we're expecting for the prices to downward so if we can see a clear break of it let's say Monday breaks then we are definitely bearish on nifty and I wanted to add this on let's say if we do not see a break of it and we can see some sort of resistance coming in expect for the prices to go on and create a new high right or beyond this one right over here not even further but I'm expecting in that case it can a little go a, a, a little deeper there is massive pressure on the bearish side uh, on the world indices so I wanted to discuss that a lot of people who are going to invest on the nifty on the bearish on the bullish side I think is is way farther from the reality things are not really good and looking good for the stock market in general so in in, in the circumstances like this if you are not sure stay away from nifty and if you want to you want to get a confirmation of the bearish side so uh, right now I'm neutral and I'm bearish I'm not bullish on the chart itself even though it goes up right over here it's still not worth it of taking a chance on nifty I hope that I was able to present some um, s some help in nifty things are looking different uh, as soon as the structure is complete we'll start looking into um, uh, an area where we can actually indicate the, the labeling of the uh, prices much better wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye